So we're here at the Independent for the show. It's the Diggable Planets headline and performance in the Bay Area. I'm pretty excited right now. We just were really into the music back then and didn't really consider, um, you know, what was going to happen after the albums came out. The industry and the, the, the fame and the, um, the busyness and the hecticness and the strains of the, of the life took its toll. What was it like getting back together? This was like a big thing, like, yeah, you know what I'm no. saying? We decided to finally meet up. It was a good feeling. It was kind of uh, enlightening also because I was able to really just see the future. For me, it was kind of like going to summer camp. You want to go, and you've been thinking about it for all the time till you get ready to leave, but you kind of are anxious about it too. Was it just the industry and what was going on with the fame, or was, it, was there anything personal that was also going on? Well, the business, like, consumes your life, you know, so it's all personal. This, this industry will do everything to try to make you other than yourself. We were always real down to earth. The business is, is cool, but it's, it's not down to earth. What have you guys been up to over the last 10 years or so? Having kids and relationships. Solo album. We put out one album and tour. And I've been putting out mixtapes. Yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to uh, get my music out in whatever way I can do it. I was really interested in knowing where the idea of merging jazz and hip hop came from. You guys really set off a powerful thing in hip hop. My dad and mom listened to that kind of music. When it came time to get records to sample, then I went to the records that was around. Well, these two guys actually introduced me to American jazz music. Brazilian jazz is pretty much the first style of jazz music that I ever listened to. Because I was fortunate enough to grow up in an era when good music was just a constant. Just wanted to see who you out here to see tonight, you know? Uh, Diggable Planets. Diggable Planets. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason. What's your favorite record? I love them both, but blah, come. Diggable Planets, definitely. It's a seminal hip hop act. This is my first, my first time, time seeing them live. They had a totally different sound for the, for the time. They just fit a, little, a new niche, and they filled it pretty well. It's Diggable Planets, baby. Headlining performance. The crowd is coming in. So how y'all feeling? Cool like that. Cool like that. <laughs> he never does this, okay? It's all for the camera. Bring it up! Bring it up! Let's go! I feel like the underground music um, of hip hop is dealing with more substance and more consciousness than stuff that's kind of on the top right now. Hip hop's a direct reflection of this country. The country is just like about short attention span, immediate gratification, get it how you can get it, and don't care about nothing else but yourself. You know, and it's, that's how the music is going to be. That's part of the yin and the yang. You know what I'm saying? You got to have some good and some bad. So all those energies is what make up hip hop. Just hip hop is a microcosm of what's going on in the world. Hip hop is what we are. We just dipped off the scene for a little while and thought about a lot, did a lot, learned a lot. The key thing is the group, but they have to have an understanding between themselves that this is what we're going to do, this is our goal. Our goal is to make good music and everything will be cool.